Are we really going to go to a re into a recession in 2020? The inventory is really low. When are homes going to start picking up on the market? How's an election year going to affect the value of my home? These are all questions that we're getting asked by many of our clients as early as fourth quarter of last year, based upon what economists were saying uh, in early 2019 with the prediction of 2020 and 21 being the beginning of the next recession. In first quarter of 2019, as many as 67% of local economists were predicting that we're going to have a national recession. In October of that of last year, that number was actually down to 34%. And then in January of this year, based on all the data and looking at the numbers of 2019, that number is down to 14.3%. You ask why? Interest rates, low inventory, uh, consumer confidence. There's a lot of things that go into it. Showing Time, which is a, uh, a, a company that uh, sets up showings for, for many local real estate agents as well as real estate agents across the country, they work side by side and hand in hand with NAR to track uh, buyer activity and they look at all of the numbers and the data to get the, to understand the pulse of where the market's at. As much, when you look at mid, the, in the Midwest, the number of buyer, the percentage of buyer activity is up as much as 20% when we take a screenshot of this year versus this time last year. So numbers are strong. Inventory is still, still really low. The biggest problem is undersupply. We currently have 1.4 million homes nationally on the market. That means when you look at the absorptions, that's down to three months inventory. We have not had those low ever going all the way back into the 80s when this data was started to be tracked. When we go into 2008, 9.5 months inventory is what the inventory sat at in 2008 based upon today. Locally, we're at 1.2 months inventory in some of our front range regions. So again, record lows as far as inventory. Many people ask why. A lot of it's new construction. The new construction numbers have been really low, but last year was one of the strongest years. New construction numbers were up by 10%. Um, that's the biggest number since the, Great, uh, since the Great Depression. And we continue to see those numbers growing more and more with new construction to hopefully close the gap when it comes to um, this, the whole supply and demand. Um, the other factor is interest rates. When you look at interest rates, everyone was predicting, I remember, gosh, you know, the last couple of years when we've been given these updates, four and 5% predictions. Now Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are predicting 3.8% is gonna be the average rate over the next two years. The other thing when we talk about low inventory, people are like, why, why aren't people putting their homes on the market? A lot of situations change, but when you look in 2000 and uh, in the 90s to as well as even in the early 2000s, Average homeowner was staying in their home five to six years. That number has now changed between nine and 10 years. Now there could be a lot of certainty. Sometimes it's uncertainty. Sometimes it's financial situations. A lot of people went through some tough times in the, in the, in the last crash, whether it's a bankruptcy or foreclosure, and they've, they've been damaged financially in their credit, they're trying to rebuild. Or maybe again, they're just a little uncertain. But when you talk about uh, uh, the consumer confidence, NAR recently did a survey and they looked at uh, not only millennials, but they looked at baby boomers, and you look at the numbers, nationally that survey said as many as 75% of consumers believe that now is the time to buy. When you break that number down even more, when you look at millennials, as many as 68% uh, of the millennials believe now is the time to buy. Uh, when you look at uh, baby boomers, young, young and old baby boomers, 79 to as many as 85% of the people believe, uh, as surveyed by NAR, that now is the time to buy. We believe that the, the market's gonna continue to stay strong, based on low interest rates, based on uh, low inventory. But many people out there are saying, well, Kevin, where do I go? What do I do? Um, you know, it, it, we believe that now is a good time based on your equity position. It's very common for people to say, well, Kevin, the rate, you know, homes just keep going up and up and they get more and more expensive. Well, so does the value of your home. So the number one thing you need to do is you need to get clarity. What is your current equity position? If you were to sell your home and make the next move, um, what's the values doing in, in those homes? Are they going up? Um, are they gonna outpace yours? Are you currently a renter? Um, obviously rent keeps going up, interest rates are staying flat. Now's the time maybe to take a look at that as well. So however we can help you out, give you clarity uh, on the market and, uh, and help you, we're here to do so. 
By the way, if you're, an, if you're an agent out there looking to grow your business, we're hiring. Or maybe you know somebody that wants to get in the real estate business. Um, we, can, uh, we, can put, we can get them we can get them licensed through our coaching and training program, get them licensed, and show them the blueprint of our success program to help them grow their real estate careers as well. So however we can help you out, we appreciate it. Again, Kevin Shoemaker with the Kevin Shoemaker team here at eXp Realty. Our number is 720-230-3030. See us at kevinsellco.com.